you're new to my channel, my name is Graham, and I bought a boat. It's a 1978 Irwin Mark III sailboat. Uh, it's a project, a uh, several year project. I started this YouTube page uh, for basically my family members and friends, so they can kind of follow me on my journey as I rehab this boat. Um, during this short process, a couple months, I decided to start doing some how-to videos, uh, and today I'm going to do one of them. So today I talk about how to remove the through-hole fittings. Um, I talked about how to install the seacock valves before, but I talk about how to remove the through-hole fitting. In my boat, I had the through-hole fitting here. This is where the water comes in. This is where your, your boat is here. And then this, this valve here is your seacock valve. Pretty simple. Um, I've seen some people do it the wrong way. Uh, you can take a little grinder, not grinder, but a little cutter like this. If it's plastic, cut it off. And you want to cut it off in between this nut right here and the through hole fitting. You can cut it off here. If this through hole fitting is plastic or if bronze, you're going to want to get an angle grinder and cut it off. So once you cut this through hole fitting so the valve is off, you're going to have a nut on your through hole fitting. So what you want to do next is cut here like I did down onto it so you're cutting and busting this nut off. After you do that, your hole should be here like this. You take a hammer and you knock it out this way. What you do not want to do is take your grinder and grind this edge here, which is where the bottom of your boat is, and tear up the bottom of your boat. So you have to fiberglass or ferret or uh, kind of like automotive bondo, and then punch it in because that rips off all of the fiberglass um, on either side, depending on. That's what you don't want to do. Like I said in my video, I'm gonna go over again really quickly. After you get that area cleaned up on both sides, uh, I would use alcohol, uh, 90 some percent. Get your through hole fitting. Get your buddy, you know, put some uh, Sikaflex here. You do not want to put the 5000 super hard, hard curing, so it rips fiberglass stuff when you take it off. You put it up there. You have your buddy hold your, your tool for you. You're on the top side or on the inside of the boat. You put some Sikaflex here. You screw this down. So your hole is here. This is the inside of the boat. This is the outside of the boat. It looks like this. And then you get Teflon tape. Again, you don't use Sikaflex or the 5000 adhesive. You put the Teflon tape around here. You go clockwise as you're looking at it, clockwise, and you screw your valve in. You'll be more than fine. So this boat that I bought, uh, there's rumors that sat for 20 years in the marina. I had no electrolysis on anything that was plastic. Another one cracked, vibrated, got old, got brittle. That stuff didn't happen. That's as far as I'm concerned. If this has been sitting for 20 years, that's 20 years experience, that, that's myth or fairy tale. If you use bronze or brass, you're gonna need to run the ground wire from every single fitting here and here, or here, I should say, all the way uh, to the to a ground somewhere to avoid electrolysis. I didn't want to do that. And again, even if it's in the water for 20 years, you're probably still going to have to replace the bronze or the brass. Plastic, you don't. My valves, again, if they were in there for 20 years, it still turn just fine. Um, that's my little how-to this week. Uh, please like, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. And if you have any comments or you want to get into discussion, 
Um, I'm more than willing to listen. I, I don't know it all, but in my opinion, with the research that I've done, I think that's the right way to do it, and that's just my suggestion. That's, that's the way I did it. Again, thanks for watching. Take care.